Hey, what's going on, Built on a Budget family? Hey, uh, this is your boy, Built on a Budget, coming to you with another video, another project to the channel. Man, don't this thing look out of place to the compound? Yes, it do. You know, this is John Deere country down here now, but, uh, hey, man, I was blessed. I had a guy that uh, say he likes what I'm doing, you know, with my channel and everything. And uh, he had a old garden track that he wanted to donate. Uh, whenever we was talking about it, he said he had a John Deere. It was a one series. So I go by his house and lo and behold, what he had, a one series Cub Cadet. But, uh, you know, he wanted me to have it, so here it sits. And it's a nice tractor, man, uh, I hope. <clears throat> he said it been sitting, man, for about eight years, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't want to be lying on the man. I think he bought it new. It's a, a Cub Cadet a International Harvester Cub Cadet. It's a real one. Uh, 106. They made them from 69 to 71. It has a 10 horsepower Kohler engine in it. He said that uh, he parked it because he's an older gentleman and it was too heavy for him to move around. Uh, load up and unload and uh, he, he was doing a little grass cutting so, uh, he ended up getting a little lightweight craftsman deals, you know. Uh, and so, he wanted me to have this, man. And uh, so, I went by yesterday, and I took the 210, and I towed it away from a certain death. I mean, he had it kind of covered up. But uh, it looked like the earth had growed all up around the deck, and I actually had to jack it up and uh, and put it on my tow hitch on my uh, the little hitch I made. What you call that? Man, I'm drawing blanks this morning. But it's on my my little uh hitch I got on the back of my uh two ten. I, I hooked it in. it. And I got the wheels up off the ground, and she drug it out. Boy, I'm going to tell you, them ag tires on that 210, hey, she, uh, she dug, boy, I, I, I like that. But uh, it appears to be a real solid tractor, man, uh, from, from what I can see. We know that it is uh, heavy duty, you know. It has, like I told you earlier, the 10 power, 10 horsepower Kohler engine in it. Uh, and what I done was I pulled the, the tank off of it. Um, I pulled the carb off because sitting all of them years, man, I want at least... <clears throat> get that cleaned up and just see where it go from there uh i like the little skinny tires they have on the front they ain't no good but i like them um little tires on the back it might clean up if it run good then it should clean up pretty good i don't know what i'm gonna do with it um as all of y'all know I want a 110 round fender. Uh, this could be uh, my way to it. You know what I'm saying? I might, I don't know. I'm going to get it running. And because uh, I got these here Smiths on your hand. I'm going to get it running if it'll run. It's not locked up or anything. And he did say that it was running whenever he parked it. So uh, let's just hope. That everything is good. Like I said, the engine 
it turns free. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm gonna mess with it a little bit today, and maybe the next video I show y'all about the Cub Cadet, it'll be running. But that is a new project for the uh for the house for the, the camp. Like I said, I got John Deere sitting everywhere, man. I mean, this is this is John Deere country. You know, I was on the back porch last night and uh I was looking down the hill. And it haven't been three months since I got my first John Deere. And now I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six John Deere's. Now I got a Cub Cadet. You know, I just sent a Cub Cadet up the road with, with my nephew which he's happy with. Uh, and then I got my Husqvarna that I'm using to spray and stuff with. Uh, but I got a lot of lawnmowers, man. <laughs> it was funny to me, but... Uh, and I got a, a Honda. So, yeah, like I said, man, everything is here on it. The deck is on it. From all I could see... The uh the pulleys and stuff appear to be frozen. I'm not for sure. You know, I hadn't really messed with it. I just got it yesterday and unloaded it off the trailer. But uh, I wanted to do a video on it and uh, let y'all guys see what it was that I was working with. And... Um, Hopefully, man, it'll be a good runner. It's a really nice, it's a really nice uh, garden tractor. Uh, and who knows, man? I might get a few Cub Cadets. I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I'm being blessed. And free is always good. So... Uh, yeah, I just want to, uh, I just want to show y'all this, let y'all see what I'm working with, uh, got a little compartment down here, it's a heavy duty, little joker too, she was real heavy, he even had, uh, the key. To go with it. So. Uh, I was happy about that. You know. So. Uh, let's see where this thing go. Y'all put in the comments. What you think about me. Acquiring. A Cub Cadet. And what you think I should do with it. Uh, I'm excited. But let's see where it go. Alright. So, uh, once again, and I, I, I figure out the next video I do on it, I'll let you know what the model is on it. I'll do the serial number. It got all of that stuff still on it. 10 horsepower Kohler engine in it. Uh, I have a little more information on what it is I got here. And, uh, hopefully we'll get it running and, yeah, the hood closes down. I know I got it jacked up right now. But uh that's it's a nice tractor, man. It's starting to grow on me. I'm starting to get fond of I can't wait to get it running and cleaned up. And then who knows, man, might fall in love with it. Uh so until the next video, this is your bar built on the budget saying. I got to turn you around for this. Peace!